Hey, this is now Friday, February 3rd. A board member reached out to one of our journalists and stated, quote, you get a raise if there is a restructure without James O'Keefe at Project Veritas. I have a copy of the text message, and I'll give it to all of you. I redacted the name of the journalist. The board member deleted the message, but not before our journalist took screenshots. Good job, journalist. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome back to Comic Crow. And uh, as of yesterday, Project Veritas has officially, officially removed uh, James O'Keefe. And I want to say that in the, I actually haven't pulled up. They've lied about what they did with James O'Keefe. Okay. They said that, you know, they didn't remove him. Oh, he's on vacation at the exact same time. They were preventing James O'Keefe from even speaking about what was going on because he was still technically a part of the company, even though he had been stripped of all his income, all of his authority, all, all of his ability to even speak to people, right? And so yesterday, as uh, he leaves the organization, he uploads a 40 minute video in which he explains just how underhanded the board acted with all of this. Uh, one of the actions was essentially to hold this meeting to strip him of his authority when they knew he was going to be on an airplane and completely be unavailable so they could just railroad him. They, 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 they actually, they, they have something that's really interesting because you see in the past, this was, uh, apparently about how, uh, James O'Keefe was treating donors, right? How he was treating the staff. He wasn't showing people the proper amount of respect that, that was the original claims against James O'Keefe. Then they came out with a statement that was, uh, of course, James O'Keefe is alive and well, why wouldn't he be? We're sure many of you can agree there is nothing better than enjoying a well-deserved vacation. They had already removed him at this point. Project Veritas just went out and openly lied to everybody on Twitter in an attempt to save face. But in its statement from Project Veritas, they go, James also left us no choice but to suspend him in the last few weeks. So while they were trying to tell everybody James O'Keefe is still a part of the organization, well, they were trying to tell everybody, oh, he's just having a vacation. They, they had suspended him. He was unable to speak. And they were just lying and gaslighting everybody. That is the new Project Veritas. That's the new Project Veritas, everybody. They will openly and brazenly lie to your fucking face in order to take control of this god-awful, cursed company. And, and it's god-awful now. All right. Beforehand, Project Veritas had a vision. That vision was James O'Keefe's vision because he's the one who started the company. Now you basically here, here's the way that I read this. OK, you have these outside individuals that work on the board who, who got brought in later, who are who are trying to figure out how they can just maximize profits. OK, and at the exact same time, you also have these you know younger people joining the group and being like, well, we want recognition for what we're doing. And I, I think then you just create this really disgusting monstrosity when you combine these two together. So now you have people claiming, oh, well, you know, he, he doesn't give credit. He doesn't give credit. He does. He's stealing money from the company, right? This started with him uh, uh, being abrasive with donors and, and, and him not respecting other people. That's how this started. This has now evolved into, oh, also he's stealing money from the company, guys, right? And I'm supposed to trust the people that just recently, very recently, as in just a few days ago, tried lying to everybody and gaslighting us. But it's okay, guys. They're, they're, they, even though they lied uh, several times about how they were handling this, even though the board did this when they knew James O'Keefe was in the fucking sky and unable to even speak to them, they, they, they stripped him of his ability to actually communicate with people and then went around telling you all, he's just on vacation, guys. Don't, it, isn't, isn't nothing better than enjoying a well-deserved vacation? Lying, lying, and just lying some more. Now, in terms of the YouTube channel, I don't think it's hit as heavily because the conversation with Project Veritas is happening all on Twitter. 
but it's still breaking out into their YouTube account. So as of yesterday, they lost 40,000 subs. As of right now, today, they've already lost another 10,000. And then when we go to the Twitter numbers, they lost over 200,000 followers between yesterday and between yesterday and today. All right? This is because again, the conversation is on Twitter. It's been trending all over Twitter. People can't believe this actually happened. And the thing is, I, I don't think the board was expecting James O'Keefe to put out a whole statement in which he exposes the, the, the nasty little fucking liars that they are. Again, this list over here is ridiculous, right? This, this entire list is ridiculous. I'm not saying that some of it doesn't look questionable. I'm not saying that, hey, maybe he is, maybe he did steal $150,000 on 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 black cars in the last 18 months maybe he did right i don't know what the fucking context is there though i know the guy travels all over the place when they say he spent thousands of dollars spent on dj and other equipment for personal use according to james o'keefe this is money that was spent on a fucking christmas party right and that the, the the part that they had the next year was double the amount of the one that they are complaining he wasted expenses on okay sixty thousand losses by putting together dance events such as project veritas experience these are done to raise money even if you want to say oh he got it wrong he screwed up we didn't raise that much money you can't sit there and go oh he he he, he stole 60 grand to, to host his own personal Project Veritas party. Fuck off, like fuck all the way up. And again, I have to take the word of the same people that just a few days ago lied to my fucking face about what was going on. Project Veritas is a dead company just waddling around, insignificant, nobody's nothing. And you know what? I No one, here's the thing. Even if I wanted to take this like absolutely uh, oh, these guys are the good guys, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take them at their fucking word, right? Why would anybody else, when you lie constantly, when you've lied throughout this entire situation, and now we can see the truth is, you guys are just shady and underhanded. That I've, I've, I've seen a couple of situations that play out like this. This is just them throwing shit at the wall hoping something sticks right because you know telling people oh james o'keefe has an ego and you know that ego is going to make it hard to raise funds wasn't a good enough reason to remove him from the company but they're the jackasses who put that out he's got too big of an ego and he might scare off donors these idiots put that out there and then everybody went went on them and were like hey fuck you brings james o'keefe back and their response again again, was to lie and say that he's just taking a vacation. He's just on vacation, everybody. And so now they have this list, okay? And they're saying this list proves, this is this is proof he was stealing money from the company for his own personal, how do I believe you, okay? When there's no context for any of this shit and you've already lied on more than one occasion on why you removed the guy. And when you removed him, you didn't give him the right to defend himself at all. You, you did it when he's up in the sky in an airplane and has no ability to talk to any of you. Fuck Project Veritas, fuck this fucking board, and fuck every single employee who chooses to work there.